Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Meg Galnick, and I'm with the Pullman Schools Pantry Program. As you can see behind me, we've got all kinds of nutritious food that we give out to Pullman uh, Public Schools students who are food insecure and in need. And so um, I got invited to read to you today, and I'm so excited to read these wonderful books that Miss Rachel has chosen for us today. So uh, let's get started. Okay, come join me. So the first book is What's Up Malou by Genevieve Godbelt. I love the illustrations in this book. They're just so beautiful. Okay, let's get started. One hop, two hops, three hops. No other kangaroo can hop like Malou. Oh my goodness, look at that. Those hops are just giant. Hop, oh goodness. What happened here? One step, two steps, three steps. What's up, Malou? What's up with Malou? Goodness. Let's look at that. What's up with Malou? Malou seems a little sad. Four steps, five steps, six steps. What's wrong, Malou? Can you see what is wrong with Malou? Let's turn the page and see. Oh my goodness, there's Malou floating on a ball. Did you see the fish below? And Malou is with her friends too. But we still don't know what's wrong with Malou. Seven steps, eight steps, nine steps. Let us help you, Malou. Oh, all of her friends are asking if they can help her. I like that. I like it when my friends ask if I need help too. Hold on tight, Malou. <laughs> Hold on, do you see Malou is holding on so tight? Hold on to your chairs. <laughs> Uh-oh, plop, plop, Malou. Oh, and there's Malou's, all of her friends. See all the friends? Okay, we're in Jefferson Elementary recording. <laughs> so that was the school bell. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 10 steps, 100 steps, 1,000 steps. Oh my goodness, look at that. Have you ever taken a thousand steps? My goodness, I bet your mom and dad have. Hop, you can do it, Malou. Oh, her friends are cheering her on. You can do it, Malou. I love that. Cheer on your friends too. Hop, hop, hop. My goodness, look at how high she's hopping. I love that. And another hop, and another hop. Wow, we can't even see her right here. Wow, there she is. She's hopping up into the sky so high. Can you hop for a second? Do three hops. Hop, hop. Hop. Here we go again. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hooray. Let's all hop like Malou. Can we hop like Malou? Okay, everyone, hop like Malou. Hop, hop, hop.
And that, my friends, is the end of What's Up, Maloo. Oh, that was a fantastic book. I love it. Do you guys like kangaroos? I really love kangaroos and hope I can one day see one in person. I love them. So, all right, I have another book to read for you guys. And this one is By the Light of the Moon. Look at those beautiful illustrations. And this is by Fran Preston Gannon. Okay, this looks like a frog. By the Light of the Moon. Let's get started on this one. Wow, beautiful. Okay, a little frog sat in the nighttime air in the swamp by the light of the moon. He sat all alone in the little green pond, singing his little frog tune. Me, 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 me. I love to sing. <laughs> but all by himself, his voice was so quiet that he stopped and he let out a sigh. <sighs> Singing alone is not much fun. What a sad, lonely froggy am I. Oh, sad froggy. I feel kind of bad for him. So he hopped and he jumped over lily pad leaves and into the blue of the night to find someone else to join his song and make it sound just right. Lu, 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 lu. Can you join someone in their song? You might have to sing a song at the end. He found a friendly crocodile who was drumming and humming in the nighttime. My friend, he called, will you sing with me? Will you add your song to mine? Wow, look at his friendly crocodile. Oh, I love that. I love my friends too. So the crocodile hummed and beat his drum, boom, 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 while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they both sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. There they are. Oh, and look, froggy sitting on friendly crocodile's nose. Isn't that silly? I love it though. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Okay, well they found a group of musical mice who sang played a flute and a gong. They made a nice trio, the little frog thought, and he asked them if they'd sing along. Do you think the mice will sing along with them? Well, let's see. So the mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. I wonder what's wrong. They're all starting to sing together. That's good, right? Down in the murky depths of the pond, some little fish swam to and fro. Froggy called down, will you sing with us? So they added their voice to the flow. Okay, let's hear the little fishies. There we go. So the fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky. And the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sing along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Oh, wow, beautiful, look at that. Some birds flew down from high above when they heard the hullabaloo. We love the song you're singing, they said, and we'd like to join in too. Do you think they can join in? Sure, they, sure they can join in. Everyone's welcome, right? That's what we do to, with our friends. We have everyone join in. So the birds sang along and added their song. The fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. 
but something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Froggy put down his small guitar. Look at that itsy bitsy teeny weeny guitar. Somehow it still wasn't right, but then he saw a shy little bug not adding her song to the night. What's wrong, he said. Why are you so quiet? Please join in and sing along. Not me, said the bug. I'm far too small, and my voice is not very strong. Oh, here's the bug. Do you see the bug? Oh, sweet little bug. Do you think the bug should join in with them? I think they should. My friend, said Froggy, your song is unique and important, like all of the rest. Even small voices count, so let's hear yours. Only you can sing your song best. So the bug sang out her very own song and her small voice carried far. She bizzed and she buzzed to the beat of the swamp and she lit up the night like a star. Oh my goodness, you have to see that. Isn't that beautiful? She really did light up the night sky. Then the birds sang along and added their song and the fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky, and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum, while the little frog sang his tune. And as the song spread all throughout the swamp, each voice blended in with the rest. Now everyone knew that the song of the swamp needed everyone's voice to sound best. Together, the animals, the plants, and the moon, the earth, the pond, and the shining stars too. In the swamp by the light of the moon, they all sing together their wonderful tune. In the swamp by the light of the moon. And that's the end of that book, By the Light of the Moon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed reading you books. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.